How's it going lads and lasses? If you're watching this video, chances are while playing Remnant 2 you've come across this item called the Plain Ribbon and you might be wondering what the hell is this thing for? What the hell do I do with it? Or maybe you did figure out what to do with it but you didn't know you can actually take it a little bit further than that. So in this video I'm going to be showing you everything that can be done with the Plain Ribbon. Um, just a heads up, there might be some very minor spoilers. I'm going to try and keep this as spoiler free as possible but there might be some little things that maybe you want to come across yourself. Uh, I'm not going to talk about any main story beats or anything like that, So, but just in case, there's potential spoilers, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the Plain Ribbon is something you'll come across on Loathsome in certain dungeons. I've come across it in the Shattered Gallery, in the Gilded Palace, whatever it's called. Um, I've even come across it in the, uh, the Grand Hall. Um, you'll find it in, in most of those more ornate uh, dungeons and you'll find it on a dead body and then you're going to kind of find this outdoor garden area in that same dungeon where the centerpiece is going to be this statue with uh, two characters with their hands interlocked like that and you're going to just wrap the ribbon around uh, I forgot to clear the enemies here but you're gonna wrap the ribbon around their hands and then you're just going to leave so after you've tied the ribbon to the statue if you started off in the palace storyline, um, eventually you're going to come to the point where you have to go back to this beginning area and you have to insert the masks onto this mural on the floor and that will open access to the final boss. This is where the minor spoilers come in. I'm not, not going to say anything about the boss, but um, depending on which version of the ribbon you want, there is a gold version and there is a silver version. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show real quick the differences between the two. So the golden ribbon will give you 25% mod damage and uh, it'll also give you 15 seconds of haste when you activate a mod whereas the silver ribbon will give you 25% skill damage and then it will give you the haste bonus when you activate a skill. So depending on which version you want, you are going to set it to either the light side or the dark side. The light side will get you the gold ribbon, the dark side will get you the silver one, and I don't believe you need to fight the final boss. Uh, I think you can just go back to the statue from here and collect the ribbon, but if, if you go back to the statue and you can't collect it yet, then what you have to do is fight the final boss. Each time I've done it, I fought the boss first and then gone to the ribbon so I haven't tried doing it without fighting the boss but like I said I don't think you need to but just in case it doesn't show up come back fight the boss then go get it if you start in the streets as opposed to the palace and you're doing the asylum storyline you can still get the ribbon and you can still apply it to the statue and come back later um, what you would do of course is put it on the statue leave the dungeon go do something else and then come back uh, again, I don't think you have to fight the final boss there either, but if it, if it doesn't show up when you come back, obviously you do have to fight the final boss. The only issue there is I don't believe you can change the time of day, so you can't change which ribbon you get. It's dependent on which dungeon it spawns in, uh, whatever time of day it is by default in that dungeon. So if it's you know one of the darker ones, you're going to get the silver ribbon. If it's one of the lighter ones, you'll get the gold ribbon. Once you have both ribbons, you can take them to Namui and get a special amulet called Namui's Ribbon. That combines both of them together along with a little crystal, uh, as we're going to see here. This amulet will give you a 50% relic healing bonus as well as 25 seconds of haste when you use a relic. So this amulet is pretty useful if you're using a relic that maybe sacrifices some healing ability to give you certain other advantages, you know, certain buffs and things like that. Uh, that's where this, rel this amulet would really come in handy. 
And that's going to wrap up this video, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped. I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you guys next time.